Hello everyone, I am Arpita Telkar, student of Bapoji Institute of Engineering and Technology, CSNA Department, Ramangere, Karnataka. Well, today we will be looking into further concepts of voice analytics. In previous session, we already discussed regarding the introduction to voice analytics and its requirements. In this session, we'll be learning about the importance of voice analytics, benefits of voice analytics, approaches to voice analytics, basic process flow, and best practices. Let's begin with the importance of voice analytics. Companies in a range of industries, including insurance, technology, financial services, and healthcare, are adapting this technology to generate insights into customer needs. By using these analytics to analyze customer conversations, the companies can look into the present trends and gather a huge amount of vital information which could be necessary for the betterment of the company. Looking to the benefits of voice analytics, first one is the underperforming agents. Voice analytics helps us to identify the underperforming agents on your customer service team and figure out how to fix the issue. Second one is the competitive intelligence. You can identify competitive intelligence in conversation data with new customers who may ask for features provided by your co competitors. This will in turn build the quality of the product. Third one, share best practices and messaging that works. Sharing best practices helps in identifying the messaging and conversation techniques that bring results and produce high level of customer satisfaction. This will automatically help your B performers turn into A performers. Fourth one and the most important one is the customer satisfaction. These voice analytic software identifies recurring themes, trends and hot topics that can rapidly highlight customer satisfaction levels. There are many other benefits apart from these. I have picked out the best and the important ones for you. Moving towards the approaches to voice analytics, as you can see, there are two kinds of approaches. First one is the phonetics approach. Second is the transcription. They both begin the same way by identifying the sounds and audio and converting them to phonemes. The only difference is phonetic based conversation is limited. A very long list of phonemes is created for phonetic patterns for words and phrases. What happens in transcription based conversation is it applies a language model of hundreds of thousands of words to the phonetic index, enabling the analytic software to automatically piece together accurate conversation using the same logic and context found in the human brain. As you can see by the definition, Transcription based conversation goes one step further than phonetics. In phonetics, as there is an average of four phonemes per word, there is a high chance of errors. Therefore, this technique is found to be inefficient and can be slow. And companies usually prioritize transcription based technology. Moving towards the basic process flow. Let's see how the working of voice analytics is actually done. Initially, the customer conversation is being recorded and stored. This data is usually stored in the unstructured format. Later on, using the voice analytic techniques, these unstructured data is being converted to the structured ones. Later, it is being analyzed. I mean, these structured data are being analyzed and the decision or the action to be taken based on the analysis done is taken. Next, we'll be learning about the best practices. There are a number of best practices you should bear in mind as you figure out the solution most suited to the company. First one is identify your precise business needs. Let's consider things like the size of the company and the volume of the calls we want to analyze. This will help us figure out we need an on-premise solution or if we need a more flexible option like desktop solution. Second one is the real-time analytics. How long does the solution take to work? The best technology in this space provides real-time analytics. 
real time call monitoring allows managers to review and analyze customer con communication data quickly and eliminate any issues as they arise fourth one is outline your project goals what do you hope to gain from the voice analytics you should be clear on your project goals from the off to avoid scope creep find out your use case and develop your project accordingly the last one is self manage agent performance the best solution enable agents to self manage their own performance with quick access to and insights on call performance voice analytics can foster employee self motivation agents can track and analyze their own performance and drive self improvement that's all in this session let's see what all we have learned today we have learned about the voice analytics its benefits out of which customer satisfaction is the most important one and the approaches to uh, voice analytics first one is the phonetics second one is the transcription and we have also learned about the practices used these are the questions made for you try to answer these any queries doubt or suggestions leave it in the comment section below and if you really like like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and for more such sessions stay tuned to our channel thank you bye bye have a nice day